हेलो इवन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एग्रीगेशन यूजिंग पांडास वी विल लर्न एवरीथिंग एंड वी विल कंपेयर इट विद द सीक्वल एज वेल ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल इंपोर्ट द लाइब्रेरी पांडास एज पी डी एंड आई हैव दिस सी एस वी आई विल पुट द कंटेंट ऑफ दिस इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स सो दैट यू कैन यूज एज इट इज एंड लेट मी रन दिस ओके लेट मी प्रिंट डी एफ एज वेल so we will see df so in the df we have basically five six columns right we have order id product name category city sales profit okay now i want to do i want to do some aggregation so for example if i have sql i want to do select max of sales from df right this is something what i want to do in pandas so for that i will say so my my data frame is df i will say df dot for sales i want max so sales df dot sales dot max that's it okay pretty simple if i run it i will get the max sales so if you see the maximum sales is 40000 right so this is how we can get the maximum sales now you will say i want category wise maximum sales so for example in sql how you will do it right category dot max sales from df group by category right this is how you will do in do in sql so what it will do for each category it will get max sales so whenever you have to answer questions like for each category or each region or each city that's when you have to use group by right so how we will do it this in pandas in pandas i will say, say df now i have to introduce group by right i will say group by okay and i will give the column name so i want to group it on category right so i am saying group it on category and then give max of sales so df dot group by category dot sales dot max this is the syntax in pandas so if i run this now i will get category wise max sales so for example in furniture in furniture we see maximum sales is 20000 right so this is how you can do group by in pandas now you will say i want more aggregated functions so for example you say i want minimum also in the same query minimum of sales and and average and everything right so for that we have agg function so what i will do i will say agg and within that i will pass in square brackets whatever aggregate functions i want so let's say i want mean i want max i want min also i want count okay so i can get all these aggregated functions so mean max min and count if i run this now you see we have got all four right minimum maximum minimum count this is me average basically in sql if i have to do it i will get average of sales right and likewise i can add as many functions aggregated functions similarly if i have to do in pandas i have to use this agg functions and pass whatever i want right so this is one thing another thing is you will say that what if i want to do group by on multiple columns so let's say you want to do group by on category and city both right so we have the city as well here you see we have the city so i want so what i will do in sql i will say category comma city and here also i will say group by category comma city and i will get it similarly what we can do we can pass two columns in square brackets here so category so i want category and city both so i will just pass city that's it right if i run this now so i will get the in the combination of category and city min max min count of sales right i hope this is clear i'll just remove it for simplicity of the of the further topics in this video but you can group on multiple columns similar to what how we do in in sql so i'll just run this back and from here also let me remove city for the time being okay now what's next now you can say that why the sales in the same query i want so for example i want average of sales and max of profit right right this we can do in sql 
it is not just i have to do all the aggregation on one column i want to get average of sales and maximum profit so how we will do again we will make use of aggregate functions now here we will not pass sales because we don't want just sales we want sales aggregation on sales and aggregation on profit so for that we have to pass a dictionary or json here so i will instead of this list of aggregated functions i will pass a dictionary i'll just remove this as it is this and then i will say if you see i am passing a json object or dictionary and i am saying for sales for sales i want max comma for profit sorry for sales i want mean right here i am getting average sales and for profit for profit i want x so a profit i want max so this is how i will pass so within the curly brackets for sales i want mean for a profit i want max so mean and max are the keywords right and let me run this now okay there is some error uh uh mean is not defined mean is not defined if i do min will it work yes it is working okay so mean is not working for some reason that's fine but the idea is you have to pass you have to pass sales this this curly brackets in a json object you have to pass sales min and profit max right let me see if average is working here average is also not working uh, i'll uh, we can see later why mean is not working right mean should work ideally uh, that's fine okay so this is how you can do so for each category we got sales minimum of sales and maximum of profit right now the last bonus thing is what if you want i want to plot this okay so it is very easy to plot you can just say plot dot plot okay and say i want bar chart okay so you are generating this data and then you are want to plot it so if you see we have got the chart immediately so it is so cool here in pandas you can just just plot plot this data on a bar chart so this is plotted okay so this is all for today's video i hope this makes sense uh you can try it out yourself i will put this data of this csv in the description box you can just create a csv file import it and try different aggregation on the on your data thanks for watching it have a good day